We begin with a safe way to turn in guns anonymously. Two years ago, Metro partnered with churches to get guns out of the community, and the department says it's working. Here's News 2's My Owens with new details about the police department's gun retrieval program. It's that period of time when stories are being shared. We've all seen the tragedies that have unfolded in our communities. But there's a certain reality to the stories told inside some of these churches. They didn't know how to handle the guns. They didn't know what to do with them, but they knew that they didn't want to keep them in the house for potentially ending up on the streets. He gave me that gun and he, I asked him on the way back, I said, what do you want to do with your life? He said, I'm tired of living like this. Each one a memory linked around the gun retrieval program through the Metro Police Department. And then we take the two locks. It's a surefire way to get guns off the street, no questions asked. My uh, church is in the 37208 zip code, and there's a lot of crime that goes on there. Some of those people, the grandparents or the children may be in my church yeah. that's just afraid to go talk to somebody. Well, the anonymous part of the program is why I'm there. Launched nearly two years ago, the department has been teaming up with faith-based locations to create a safe space for people to turn in guns, getting unwanted and dangerous weapons off the streets. And it's been working. In the last two, and two years, 15 guns. I think we've had close to 30 here. 75% of the guns stolen in Nashville have been taken from cars so far this year, according to Metro Police. That's more than 1,000 weapons. This program is solely designed to keep households safe as well as to keep our community safe. The program especially needed during the holiday season. And family begins to travel. It's important that we keep our youth safe. It's important that we keep our households safe as well as the citizens of Nashville and Davidson County. And there are over 20 locations where you can drop off a firearm. We have a full list over on our website, WKRN.com.